Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Jack, I hope you all are fine. I always pray that you live long and always be happy in your life. I try my best to provide you the latest and authentic information about the Iraqi currency. So be connected with me and my YouTube channel. Before start the video I have a request to you all watch this video till end. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Let's start. The latest updates on the potential revaluation RV of the Iraqi dinar, as discussed by Marx, remain a mix of cautious optimism and speculative anticipation. In recent discussions, Marx has emphasized his positive outlook, despite the volatility and unpredictability surrounding the situation. He has been careful about making definitive predictions to avoid contributing to the emotional ups and downs experienced by many followers of this topic. A recent chatter within the Dinar community, highlighted by Marx's sessions, includes a variety of updates and rumors. One notable point is the anticipation of certain key financial processes being expedited. For example, there is speculation that the U.S. is preparing for a transition to T1 clearing, which would significantly speed up financial transactions, potentially facilitating the RV process. This change is expected to happen by the end of the month, aligning with Iraq's readiness and the completion of their budget schedule 6 source 8 source. Additionally, there have been discussions about executive orders and legislative measures that might impact the Dinar RV. For instance, the renewal of Executive Order 1, double 303 by the US President, which protects Iraqi assets from creditors, is seen as a positive sign. This protection is crucial for ensuring that investments and assets in Iraq remain secure, potentially paving the way for the RV6 source. In terms of logistics, there are anecdotal reports from various banks, including Chase and Bank of America, indicating that some branches are preparing for currency exchanges, although official statements remain elusive. These preparations are often discussed in the context of system upgrades and staff training on foreign currencies, hinting at readiness for significant financial changes 8 source 9 source. Despite the excitement, there is also an undercurrent of caution. Marx and other commentators stress the importance of managing expectations and consulting financial professionals before making any decisions based on these speculative discussions. The community remains vigilant, sharing updates and rumors, but the exact timing and outcome of the Dinar RV remain uncertain 7 source 8 source. In summary, while there is a palpable sense of anticipation and numerous signs suggesting that the revaluation could be imminent, the situation is still fluid. Followers are encouraged to stay informed through reliable sources and to be prepared for both potential opportunities and challenges. I hope the given detailed explanation should provide a clearer understanding of the financial reforms happening in Iraq. If you need further elaboration on any specific points or have additional questions, please let me know and I'll be happy to assist you further.